everyone, Ace here, and we are back with my Let's Play of the English Campaign of Empire Earth. So, last mission was the Black Prince. We, we dealt with the Black Prince a second time. So, in this time, we're going to be going on to We Band of Brothers, uh, which means that we'll be going. We'll be going on. It'll still be uh, about the Hundred Years' War, but it will be instead about Henry V, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, let's jump right in, shall we? <clears throat> the time has come once again to raise the sword, to reclaim the lands of William I, which are England's by right. The luminous star of the Black Prince, Edward, has long since faded, but that of the present king, Henry V, is rapidly gaining in brilliance. But alas, treachery against the young king, both here and in France, threaten his plans. Henry's oldest and dearest friend, Sir John Oldcastle, has thrown in his lot with the heretic sect known as the Lollards, who are inciting open revolt across the countryside. They even plot to take the life of Henry himself as he sits in London. In France, meanwhile, King Charles VI refutes Henry's righteous claims to land there. He cites, not without controversy, the ancient Salique rule that lands may not be passed down along the female line. Henry hmm. must now deal with the threats at home and abroad, and forge a legend that shall last throughout the ages. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. <coughs> Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Alright, so let's have a look at the history here. Um, of course, I am not going to be really reading it to bridge this video as much as possible, but if you want to, feel free to go ahead and pause the video and now and go ahead and start reading it. So, yeah, um, you know at the very end there that they actually had a line from Shakespeare's Henry V. Uh, get used to that because this mission is going to have a lot of lines ripped straight from his play so yeah okay it's really kind of amusing when you consider that this the same campaign ha that has hold on Thy, my liege. the Lollard heresy has grown into outright rebellion you must leave London ere the flower of England is cut down before it blossoms fear not my cousin our loyal guardsmen will guarantee the safe passage of our person. We shall away to Oxford and rally our men to stamp out this rebellion. So there's archers everywhere. Good to know. And we're getting shot at even better. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I'm still not doing pretty good, but we can get this here. We must prepare our forces here in safety at Oxford. Then, to stamp out this heresy, the troops must be sent to scour the churches throughout the land, to root out those disloyal to us. We are under attack. Swordsmen forward. <coughs> okay, okay. Um. Alright, so we've gotten that taken care of, but yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of amusing when you consider that the same campaign that has lines like, What is a terrible sound? has, uh, literally also has Shakespeare. Literally Shakespeare. <laughs> you can't make that up, can you? Okay, so we've got ten uh, workers being created right now. We'll... Use a few of them to create a granary. I will want to create it as close to the university as possible. Because the Lollards do like to use uh, religion to try to convert units. That is a bit of a problem. So it's a good thing that we are preparing in advance for that. <clears throat> okay, so we've got... Three farms ready. Yeah. Okay. Lord, forward. 
Now we are going to want to, when it comes to the Lollards, there is something else that we're going to have to, ooh. I just remembered that Henry V is also a yeah, warrior hero rather than a strategic hero. So we are going to have to keep hospitals built and running. That's good to know. All right, so there are some gold mines to the south here, which is going to be critical for us because I am going to be building um, priests, well, a priest at least, and some horse archers. I'm going to focus on that again. We're also going to need some additional uh, men to get the woods uh, taken care of. Now, one bonus that we do actually have points to spend on if we want, I'm considering it, is the conversion bonus. Also might as well pick the combat bonus as well since it doesn't real since it neither of these really um, increase in cost, which is good. Okay. Sorry if I sound terrible today, but eh. Okay, so I think that'll be it for right now. Yep, yep, okay. We do, however, have... Uh, the, these guys here who are going to be... Uh, right away. Getting wood cut, and that will be pretty good news for us. Okay, so yes. got that done. Yeah. Okay. There we go. My lead. Yeah, the university is going to be really important to us, at least early on, because they are going to be sending priests out. problem with the Lollards is that they're actually, if you look at them, they're actually a tech level higher from what I've seen. So they'll be equipped with uh, halberdiers and even arquebus units, which is going to be a bit of a problem. The good news is that they don't really respawn that much. They don't have any, uh, they don't have much of an industry. So once we get our units all set to go, there we are. I think we're ready to go raid one or two of their places. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> yeah, this cough's not going away, is it? Okay, so we've dealt with most uh, of the industry, of the economy here at least. We're gonna have the granary be fully upgraded. Uh, woodcutters are have a reasonable number of them, I think, for right now. Once my units are fully upgraded, I will then, because I'm pretty sure there's at least one town down here that has a few lollards that do need to be dealt with. 
Another resource that we're going to need a lot of is stone, I would argue. Good news is, um, there is stone available. Bad news is, it's way down here. Which I'm pretty sure we have to go past at least one or two towns to actually get to it. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Can I build a temple yet? Yes, I can. I will build one. Bad enough that they've got a whole bunch of priests. Might be even more. It'll, it will be worse if they decide to get profits. Although I don't think they do get any of this mission. Yes. Okay. Now, something I should mention if you tried to do this, because a lot of it is a sort of hide and seek, if you will, where we're going from town to town to see and ask them, "Are you, are you actually heathens?" Rather than actual... Ah, here's some of the Wallards. Now, they still do have swordsmen. Like I've said, uh, they did, as you can tell, have Arquebus units, which means that they actually have uh, Renaissance-era tech. They're actually one of the I think that's the only time you're really going to see much Renaissance era units specifically because they, the game kind of skips ahead to the Imperial or slash Industrial era. So things do actually change up a bit. Okay, I could have sworn that there's a town. Ah, here's one. So we have to head up to the. Here we are. And there's a Lollard, so it's probably. Probably a. In the name of the king and the church, all those culpable yep. in the Lollard's heresy are commanded to come forth. We can give no greater gift to Almighty God than to die in His service. All right. Well, the Lollards are no more here, so that's good kind of gives us... Oh, we can actually head down to that town right immediately after. See if there's anyone there. Might not even have... Yeah, I can actually just build another five more archers without even needing to go to the um, gold mines, which is really impressive when you think about it. So that will put us at 54 in the population, which is good. <clears throat> and that's already we got one built. That's the thing about horse archers is, or uh, cavalry ranged in, when it comes down to it, is that they're going to be remaining useful throughout the entire campaign, which is, again, why I've picked uh, them as a specialization. That is bad news. Somewhere. I don't know where, but someone decided to try to attack one of our guys. Oh. And it's a priest, that's why. Now, the good news is, these archers don't really respond, so once we kill them, we'll be good. I do like how the AI actually reacts to there being a wall nearby by shooting up like that. That's actually a really nice touch from this game. One of several really nice touches, I might add, but okay. So we've got that taken care of. Let's get some gold miners. Okay, so we've got one of the little churches taken care of. Let's go deal with another one. Also, let's get a new hospital uh, area built. Right away. Yes, me Lord. Get to the heathen. All right, so you guys are gonna go and try to see if there's anything in this town. Yeah, right away. So once we've got that taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and invest okay. points in. Okay. 
another Lollard. Okay, that could be a problem. In the name of the king and the church, all those culpable in the Lollard's heresy are commanded to come forth. We can give no greater gift to Almighty God than to die in his service. Well, consider your mission accomplished. Oop. They actually tried to send a priest out to convert us in the middle of a fight. Because that would go well, obviously. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where... I guess there's some units over here or something, but we'll find out. Another priest. Okay. I wonder if there's ooh, there is another one here. So let's see if these guys are in the name of the king and the church, all those culpable in the wow. world's heresy are commanded to come forth. We can give no greater gift to Almighty God than to die in his service. Okay, so that's that group of lawlers dealt with. It seems to me like every single time I do this mission, and while it do, the lawlers do change location, it seems like I almost always get nothing but lollards just in a row so even though they change location i get i guess i've just got the best luck ever at detecting lollards now we do need to keep these guys because the next few it's either going to be definitely there's some lollards going around because i think there's at least um yeah, there's four temples, and we've already destroyed three, so that means that the next one that we find will be the last one, and that's where your, uh, Sir Old Castle, who, by the way, has one of the best names I've ever heard, that's where he's going to be, so... Yes. Let's get this built... All right, so we got that done. Actually get everyone there at the same time. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so it looks like we've got Still have a few guys that need to be healed up, but otherwise, we'll go ahead and figure out where Sir Old Castle is. The thing is, rather than outright kill Old Castle, it's actually better to actually convert him. You get more points that way. Okay, so we've managed to defeat that group. I've got to wonder if this next uh, bunch here is going to be... Oops, looks like oh, everyone is... Uh, looks like our mining operation is pretty much complete. Um, okay, so we actually have enough, I think, if we can get the gold. Yep, we can get five more horse archers from this. Okay, so the priest is in range, which is very, very good news. In the name of the king and the church, all those culpable and as luck would have it, commanded to come forth. We can give no greater gift to Almighty God than to die in his service. Here is our former ally, Sir John Oldcastle. We have been informed it is he who has hatched this vile plot against both crown and church. His death would be welcome, but perhaps justice would be served best if he were tried as a heretic at the Tower of London. I see that my yes. course shall not succeed. For sake of the friendship okay. I once did share with the king, I will go peacefully yes. to the Tower. All right. So we just got Her uh, Sir Old Castle captured. 
thanks to the priest who sacrificed himself, unfortunately, but he did get him captured, which is exactly what we needed. Because that is going to, once we get him taken to the Tower of London here, that's going to give us, rather than five points, it's going to give us ten points to play with. Which is going to be really good, I think. Yeah. Ah, now, for those who aren't aware of what happens, um, they do end up executing, in history, the um, Sir Old Castle. So we're not going to be seeing much of him anymore once we take him to the Tower of London, naturally. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But we will, however, get our new horse archers that we've gotten trained. We will have them go up here. We'll heal uh, whatever guys that need to be healed, and that should be about it, I think. <clears throat> Once these guys are healed up, we'll go ahead and... Yeah. Okay. Yes. okay, we just about got it, and... Oh. You know, that's one thing I do think, one of the few things I do think that Empire Earth 2 was better at. The interface was generally better because you could actually, with uh, the interface actually gave you the ability to do things like select only wounded units that we could retreat the wounded units and things. And the resource gathering interface was much, much better and could tell you how many people were gathering what at any given time. But overall, the gameplay of Empire Earth 1 is better, but I do like the interface of Empire Earth 2 more. But anyways. So let's get uh, Old Castle here. It there agrees me to put an old friend on trial thus, but the king must be seen as resolute. And here lies the bones of Sir John Old Castle. He did it for the lols. An ambassador has arrived from France. Shall we call him in, my liege? Not yet, my cousin. <clears throat> I'm gonna go drink some tea here. We hear him, I'm supposed to be English in this campaign, right? Ask our thoughts concerning us and France. God and his angels guard your sacred throne and make you long become it. We thank you. My learned lord, we pray you to proceed and justly and religiously unfold why the law Salik, which they have in France, should or should not bar us in our claim. For never two such kingdoms did contend without much fall of blood. Whose guiltless drops are everyone awoke, a sore complaint against him whose wrongs gives edge unto the swords that make such waste in brief mortality. There is no bar to make against your highness claim to France but this. No woman shall succeed in Salik land. Salik being land the French unjustly glows to be the realm of France. Yet their own authors faithfully affirm that the land Salik is in Germany between the floods of Sala and of Alb. As clear as day, King Pepin's title and Hugh Capet's claim all appear to hold in right and title of the female, so do the kings of France unto this day. How bet they would hold up this Salik law to bar your highness claiming from the female? May we, with right and conscience, make this claim? The sin upon my head, dread sovereign. For in the Book of Numbers is it writ, When the man dies, let the inheritance descend unto the daughter. Gracious Lord, stand for your own. Unwind your bloody flag. Look back into your mighty ancestors. Go, my dread Lord, to your great-grandsire's tomb, from whom you claim, invoke his warlike spirit and your great-uncle's. Edward, the Black Prince, who on the French ground played a tragedy, making defeat on the full power of France. Call in the messengers sent from the Dauphin. Now are we well resolved, and by God's help and yours, the noble sinews of our power, France being ours, will bend it to our awe, or break it all to pieces. Now are we well prepared to know the pleasure of our fair cousin Dauphin, for we hear the greeting is from him, not from the king. Okay, so let's see what's going on. 
Your Highness, lately sending into France, did claim some certain dukedoms at the right of your great predecessor, King Edward III. In answer of which claim, the prince, my master, says that you savor too much of your youth, and bids you be advised there's not in France that can be with a nimble gaillard one. You cannot revel into dukedoms there. He therefore sends you this ton of treasure, and in lieu of this, desires you let the dukedoms that you claim hear no more of you. This the Dauphin speaks. What treasure, cousin? Tennis balls, my liege. We are glad the Dauphin is so pleasant with us. His present and your pains we thank you for. When we have matched our rackets to these balls, we will, in France, by God's grace, play a set that shall strike his father's crown into the hazard. Tell him he hath made a match with such a wrangler that all the courts of France will be disturbed. Now get thee away. This was a merry message. We hope to make the sender blush at it. Therefore, my lords, omit no happy hour that may give furtherance to our expedition. For we have now no thought in us but France, save those to God that run before our business. Therefore, let our proportions for these wars be soon collected, and all things thought upon that may with reasonable swiftness add more feathers to our wings. For God before, we'll chide this Dauphin at his father's door. Prepare our troops and assemble them at Portsmouth. From where we shall hasten to France. All right, so let's d get right to it then, shall we? <clears throat> I think that team did a bit of good for me. I do seem to sound a little bit better at least, so that's something. Ooh, we actually have a strategist now. Earl of Westmoreland. That, well, that's good news because I will need all the help I can get. Okay, we need to get everyone here to the docks. That'll include the citizens, so... So I think we've got about everything. Um, we're gonna find out if I miss something. The first of our forces has been loaded for the invasion. When every able-bodied soul that England can produce has been so loaded, we shall be prepared to begin our expedition. Just so, my lord. Half of our forces have now been loaded. When the remainder of our countrymen have been brought hither to the docks at Portsmouth, we shall be ready to depart. Okay, so we've got about... Looks like it's just going to be these horse archers that we've got left, so that's good news. There we go. At last we stand ready to employ our might in defense of our just cause. Let the fleet set sail. Good. Okay, so we'll be landing soon, I think. The city yep. of Harfleur lies but a short way to the northeast. <coughs> our quest to win France and avenge the Dauphin's insult against our person begins here. Fear not, your majesty. The stout yeomen of England are fully prepared. Yes. I think that's everyone. Okay, we will get a little bit of iron ready, I guess, or... We do have a reasonable amount of gold, so that's good news for us. We also have stone up here, which is going to be more good news. Yes. Okay, 
Okay, so that one's done. Good. So this is gonna slow down our uh, rate a little bit, but we are gonna have ourselves stone gathered. And that should be it. For now, anyways. Uh, you can't really, unfortunately, build up here specifically because of the terrain, but... Don't really have to, thanks to that. Yeah, that will take care of. Got ourselves some siege engines. Well, we will have soon. Alright, so we've got six citizens there. We've got... And we've got the range bonus on that. Yes. So aside from that, I'm gonna go ahead and build a another city center here, okay. and I am gonna populate it that way. This isn't going to be any, uh, the population capacity isn't going to be the issue that prevents us from getting more trebuchets and whatnot. There we go. We've got, let's see. I think we got enough for two more. Yep. Okay, so once we're fully upgraded, we will go ahead and march to the north, I think. So, let's see, is there any other upgrades I can give to my... Let's see what kind of points I've got to play with. So, I've got the range, I've got cost reduction, and I've got rate of fire. Um, looks pretty good so far. Yeah, I'll hold off on now, because I do know that there's a few other unit types that are going to be coming that will be relevant also. Okay. Ooh, there's the towers. Go ahead and... And this is why we invest in range and attack on our trebuchets. Ooh, here comes the welcoming committee. Okay, so that is done. Good. Oh, that's bad. That is so bad. Wow, 
Wow, Henry V has actually suffered a lot of damage. That could actually be bad news. Just need to take out this. There we go. Okay, so that's dealt with. Good. Okay, so that one's dealt with. Good. Let's see what. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh. And this is the little thing that's been causing us trouble. Old. So just to kill that. Destroy the siege factory. Destroy this too, and that should be about it. Oh, that's a stables. That could be a bit of a problem. But, their stables is no match for my trebuchet. That are just wrecking everything inside. Okay. Let's see what the objective is. Um, the strill. Okay, so we are doing a good number on it. I think once we take out this and this, that'll do. The Lord. Hoffler is ours. But there are signs that the bulk of the French armies have marshaled nearby to face us. Come, cousin. Let us repair to Nestle, where we may espy our enemies and plan our stratagem. Okay, so that's simple enough. This is actually a pretty good mission from when I, in my opinion, um, so let's continue on, shall we? Okay, cutscene will play. French are well arrayed for battle. That's five to one. Besides, they're all fresh. Oh, that we now had here but one ten thousand of those men in England that do no work today. No, my fair cousin. If we are marked to die, we are enough to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. I am a lord. He that shall live this day, and see old age, will yearly, on the vigil, feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow is Saint Crispian. Then he will strip his sleeve, and show his scars, and say, These wounds I had on Crispian's day. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by, from this day to the ending of the world, but we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. Then perish the man whose mind is backward now. Thou dost not wish more help from England, cause? God's will, my liege. Would that you and I alone, without more help, could fight this royal battle. Why, now thou hast unwished five thousand men, which likes me better than to wish us one. The men know their places. God be with us all. All right. So yeah, let's let's get our army here. We are gonna need them. We're also a little low on health. Get the siege engines going. Once those are in place, we'll order the rest of the men up. Or rather, we will order them up as soon as we get get them selected. There you go. 
I'm tempted to get some hospitals built. Yeah, in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. Hospital. 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 That should cover everything. How many points do we have? 41. Wow. Well, with the next mission, we're going to have a lot to play with. We'll be able to upgrade so many things. It'll be amazing. Yes, Get to the healing, my friend. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with our trebuchets, if there's anything that we can hit at range. And yes, there is. For whatever reason, they have bombards. Could be a bit of an issue. Ooh, another bombard. But we do outrange the bombards. Amazingly. Okay, we do have a few infantrymen charging down, but that's not going to be a problem thanks to horse archers. I don't think I've lost a single person from my army since I actually got here. I yeah, got to France here, which is really impressive. However, I'm pretty sure they're going to have more bombards for the... Ooh, yes, yes, they are. And I called it. Now these guys are not going to be able to outrange the bombards, which is unfortunate. But they can put a thorn in the sides of the knights here. As soon as we get our guys to fall back. I think that's the first guy we actually lost this entire map, this entire battle. another night down and another one and yeah they don't have too many units left do they however we did lose a trebuchet which is unfortunate So that guy's dead. That guy's dead. Just about got it. We'll just take this guy out, the Duke of Olyon. There he goes. And we got another one. Awesome. Okay, so we've dealt with those guys. Good, good. I think we won. No, we broke in their spirit. See how the dogs run from us. France is again ours. Be not so harsh, dear cousin. Many a good man has fallen in battle this day, friend and foe alike. Alas, our men are brave, but it seems bravery alone does not suffice in these times. These Englishmen did not view my jest with all due humor, and they are akin to hornets when riled. <clears throat> so, Dauphin, these lands are now mine by right of conquest, as well as lineage. What say you? What is left to say? 
My father bids me present his daughter, Catherine. If you truly seek to rule over this land, you will never be legitimate in French eyes unless you wed to the royal house. Sooth, a man could not hope to find a finer flower. Let there be no obstacle to this union. The bold men by my side and their fallen comrades in honor with the French deserve no less than that we all should live as brothers, filling no more the rivers of France with blood. Truly, sir, I welcome my betrothal to you and the co-mingling of our great nations. Okay, so that looks like that's about it. Wow! Look how far my horse archers pushed while off camera. <laughs> yeah, okay then. Well, let's see what uh, the end. Let's see what the uh, game says, how well we did. Summary. Ah, here we are. So, we did the best military, but the other Engl but England itself did the best economy. That's interesting. Okay, so units killed 163, uh, compared to 69 losses, okay, not bad. 19 buildings raised, or 69 losses, okay. 19 buildings raised, uh, 108, wow. Pretty sure that's just all scripted stuff there. Conversions won, yeah, I captured that one guy. I didn't get converted once, though, that's pretty good. Especially against the Lollards. So, mission wasn't quite as long as I thought it would be, but it's still a lengthy mission. Okay. Well, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.